Good day everyone and welcome to our Smith Cafe Coffee Eto. An episode entitled Ready Gets It Game, a glimpse of the gaming industry. And now may I present to you our lovely guest, Miss Mary Faye P. Dudas. Let's give her a round of applause. Okay, Miss Marife, how's life naman po? Kamusta mm-hmm. naman po tayo during this pandemic? Mm, uh, before, uh, first, I just want to greet you. Good afternoon. Well, I'm doing good. Actually, I just resumed working last October because yung company namin na-apektahan din siya during the pandemic. Tapos, umuwi muna ako dyan sa Quezon Province. So, I stayed there for six months. Uh, tumulong ako sa family business namin. But currently, I am here in Cagayan for work. It's good to hear po na nakabalik mo kayo. Mm-mm. And now, let's proceed. Um, let me introduce to you my groupmates. First, I am mm-hmm. Raymart Alvarez. I'm Glenn Lester Arguito. I'm Jan Carino Dibayani the third. I am Mark Glenn Oliva po. Okay. So this pic shows your graduation pic po. Nung mm-hmm. galing po kayo ng St. Anne. So we're talking about yourself before a student. I'm uh, Maria Pe. Uh, before a student po, bakit po BSTM ang napili niyo ko your own choice or kagaya po ng iba, parent po yung nasunod? Well, I took up BS in Tourism Management because it is my own choice and my parents as well. But, uh, like any other students na nag-take ng BS in Tourism, dream ko before na maging flight stewardess eh. <laughs> so, Miss Maripe, what are some of mm-hmm. your memories in college and what are some of the most challenging experience when you were still studying? Well, okay. I can say that the best memories that I had in college was when we started conducting yearly exhibit with different concepts and also when I had my on-the-job training in Alabama, USA. For the most challenging one, I think it would be the when I was the President of Tourism Society, which was called before as Youth Ambassadors of St. Anne, or YASA. Well, I spearheaded everything from conducting meetings, preparation for the exhibit, uh, mat- needed materials, and yung paghahanap ng mga sponsors and guest speakers. But thanks to my team, especially my co-office- co-officers, because it uh, became successful, the outcome is all successful. Thank you, Puma. Mm-hmm. Um, ano po yung feeling ng isang produkto na sakli? How proud are you as a product of sakli? Uh, of course, I am a very proud sakli product because sakli helped me and honed me for who I am right now. Dito sa company ko, I received uh, awards, recognitions, dahil na rin sa mga knowledge and skills na natutunan ko sa SACLI. And with that, I am also overwhelmed with SACLI because until now, they are still recognizing my accomplishments. Like, nung 25th year anniversary nila, they gave me the award, uh, Stellar Award for game, in gaming industry. And also, when I received my Best Employee Award in this company, they posted my picture in their page. Kaya yun, nakaka, nakakatuwa lang. Kasi until now, naaalala pa rin nila ako. Ayun. Thank you po. Yes, of course naman po, maaalala po kayo ng school. <laughs> so in this slide naman po, makikita natin yung picture nyo with your parents. Okay. Picture with Mr. Ferdinand Dudas and Mrs. Marietta Dudas. Um, my question is, ano po yung advice nila sa inyo na nagamit nyo through your journey na maaari nyo i-share na magagamit namin now and in the future? Mm-hmm. Uh, before, nung nag-aaral ako, lagi nang sinasabi, kailangan um, always aim high and know my priorities. Especially ako yung eldest sa aming magkakapatid. So, lagi ako yung ginaguide nila tas kailangan yung mga decisions ko should uh, should be matured para yun din yung gagayahin ng mga siblings ko but yan uh, kahit na meron ako mga friends lumalabas kami i still find time or i still know my priorities 
That's why I graduated with flying colors. Tapos, ang ma- bibigay ko lang na advice sa inyong mga Suzante is that always keep in mind that what your future or what you do now, it will have an effect in your future. So, ayun nga. Like sabi ng parents ko, uh, you should also know your priorities. But it doesn't mean that you can be happy. When you set goals and priorities, you should also know your limitation. Para... Andun pa rin eh. Andun pa rin yung goal nyo. Tapos, maka, ano nyo pa rin siya, makakamit nyo pa rin siya, di ba? nag enjoy ka na, but at the same time, uh, nagagawa mo yung gusto mo and ang parents mo. Ayun. Ayan, noted po, ma'am. Susundin din namin yung advice ng parents. <laughs> so, in our next slide, um, this is your line of promotions po. Um, my question is, mm-hmm. during the time, it is about being a student. My question is, what is what is what is it about now that you're in the casino industry? Mm-hmm. So, nung student ako, I can say na naging successful din naman ako as a student. So ngayon, na nag-work na ako. Ang the best thing about working or having a stable job in casino industry or any other uh, in any other industry is that I was able to support myself. I can buy the things I wanted experience the things that I want to experience when I was still studying. And of course, I can give back something to my uh, family, especially my parents. So yun, parang nung sudyante ako, tinuloy-tuloy ko lang yung naging attitude ko from being a student and now that I am working. Ayun. This is the next question, Ms. Maripay. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is it like working in the gaming industry? Can you give us an idea about the nature of your work? Okay. So, maybe you have heard about uh, online casino. Uh, well, I am working now in an online casino. It's also same with the live casino. The only uh, difference between that our players can bet through our website or an application. And there no, uh, there's no physical interaction with the players and the dealers. Before I worked as a dealer, normal dealer, then I was promoted to VIP dealer. Then I was transferred to my department now, which is surveillance department. I am from assistant team leader. I promote. I am promoted to sur- surveillance supervisor. My current position. So what I do is um, I monitor my shift or my team members check their reports. Uh, make sure that everything is running smoothly in our department and also in ga- gaming department. Uh, hi, ma'am. This is a second question. Ano po mm-hmm. yung mga characteristics and work values nyo that has propelled you to promotion? Uh, well, I guess when I do my tasks properly, even when my superior is not around, and also my working attitude towards my colleagues, even if I have a higher position than them, I still ask for their suggestions so everything will run smoothly with our team. Because before, I've noticed that some of my colleagues, they always complain before they do, uh, they do their job. And I don't like those kind of attitudes. So with that, I kept in mind that even if I complain, I don't have any other choice but to do the, uh, still do the said task, because, especially if the, it's really part of our job. Um, follow-up question po, or do you have any mm-hmm. people you look up to with these promotions po, ma'am? Uh, in my seven years of working in this company, I guess that would be my superiors at work because I just follow their positive working attitude and then I apply it to my working behavior, to my uh, uh, pigs. So, yun. Kailangan lang laging yung flow ng trabaho. Next slide po is the casino and gaming. So, we were thought na nung bata pa po tayo, di ba, gambling is bad. What can you say about this po now that you're in the gaming mm-hmm. industry? Medyo nawawala. Repeat ko na lang. We are true. Parents na. Can you say Uh, about this people uh, that you are uh, well 
slogan spend your money uh, how to control spending your money mm-hmm. in the gaming industry I'm Merpe. How does casino business help the hospitality and tourism industry? Uh, casino, online or live, uh, spe- help the hospitality and tourism for economic growth and the greatest perceived benefits are increased employment, greater task revenue, greater possible investors in our industry. So, yun nga. Kapag may mga players ta- uh, players sa casino, usually yung ibang uh, ma- yung foreigners dumadayo sila sa iba't ibang bansa or dito sa atin sa Philippines. And then syempre mag bubuk uh, sila sa hotels, kakain sila sa restaurant natin. And once may mga players, syempre ma- may may mga pera sila. So that's the time na tutulungan yung industry uh, tourism and hospitality industry. And at the same time, Economic growth. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Puma. We hear that because of your award, you were also sent abroad. Can you tell us more about the company incentive travel, Mom? Okay. So, before I was sent abroad twice uh, by my company, First in Cambodia, where I've trained new staffs. Nung, tapos nung nagpunta kami dun sa Cambodia, during our off, we experienced going to Angkor Wat, which is part of the Seven Wonders of the World. And then after that, we went to Thailand for side trip. Lahat ng gastos namin dun, company, uh, company, binayada ng company namin. So yun. Tapos, meron pang isang uh, beses na pinadala ko sa ibang bansa, which is in London, just last year before the pandemic. So, meron, nagkaroon naman kami doon ng exhibit. Uh, tapos, after no exhibit na yon na-experience namin kung paano na sa London. Tapos, after that, we also experienced going to Paris as our side trip. For the uh, London trip, lahat yun, gases ng company. Tapos yung side trip namin sa Paris, yun na lang yung shinolder namin. Tapos yun, na-experience na- din namin going to Paris Disneyland. Ayun. Ma'am Maref eh. Mm-hmm. It, it is so inspiring that you graduated with Latin honors. What are some of the study habit tips that you can share with students who graduate with Latin honors too? Mm-hmm. Uh, honestly, nung nag-aaral ako, hindi ako yung super bookworm or super studios na estudyante. But every time we have exams, I make sure that I study prepared for the examinations. I listen to my professors when they are teaching, taking down important notes. And I also made my family my motivation and inspiration at that time, especially my mom, which is in Japan, uh, which, is, was, uh, which was an OFW in Japan when I was in my college years. But as I've said, I'm not that studious, so I still find time to relax and unwind so that hindi ako yung burn out sa mga school activities, kanyan. So yun, kasi pag masyado ka namang super aral, 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 dadating ka din sa point na pap- mapapagod ka. Eh, ilang taon din yung pag-aaral nyo, diba? So yun, pero kailangan lahat ng bagay or lahat ng ginagawa nyo, students, may limitations. You know when to stop, and you know when to enjoy. Yun. Sige po, ma'am. Noted po. <laughs> Hi, ma'am. With these achievements, how will you inspire those students who also aim for some awards? Mm-hmm. Uh, you should set priorities and goals. Along the way, I also experience failures, but it doesn't stop me from reaching my goals. Always remember that sometimes it is okay to fail as long as you know how to make it right the next time you do it or encounter it. Para, syempre, pa, yun nga. So, paulit-ulit, pag, ano, parang priorities at goals. Kapag meron ka niyan, mamomotivate. 
andyan pa yung family mo na magsusupport sa'yo. So just always keep in mind na, ay, kailangan maabot ko to. Kasi ito yung goal ko eh, kailangan ma-achieve ko to para may mapatunayan ako sa sarili ko at sa family ko. Thank you po. Mm-hmm. So dito naman po sa next slide is your trainings and seminars. So the question is, mm-hmm. based on our research, you've trained new staff abroad. Can you tell us about your training mm-hmm. experience? Okay. So as I've mentioned earlier, I was uh, I became a trainer in Cambodia. I think that was 2018 or 2019. So I stayed there for almost a month. Well, it was a nice experience, but at the same time, it uh, I need to do some adjustments. Kasi sa Cambodia, hindi sila lahat marunong umintindi ng English. So kailangan para kami nagtuturo ng mga bata ganun. Kasi we need to simplify uh, simplify everything for them to understand us. Minsan nga, parang ganito, tuturo namin na ganito. Mamaya, hindi na naman nila naintindihan. Especially, iba-iba yung languages. Ah, I mean, yung English terminologies nila, iba pa sa understanding natin, parang ganun. So yun, ang, ang daming adjustments na ginawa namin para lang maturuan sila ng maayos that time. Paano po yung nakatulong sa inyo, Ms. Marife, yung trainings and seminars na nangyari abroad? Uh, I learned how to be flexible because it is really hard to have trainees with different language. At yun nga, mahirap, mahirap talagang makipag-communicate dahil nga yun, English bar- uh, language barrier, di ba? Pero nandun naging flexible kami, parang kaya na namin or yun nga na, nalampasan namin na naturuan namin, naging okay sila ngayon, nag-ooperate yung casino namin doon. Okay naman silang lahat. So, ayun, nakaka-proud lang kasi yung pagiging flexible namin, yung pag-a-adjust namin, maganda yung naging outcome. So, Mr. Maripe, ano po yung mga mm-hmm. yung share sa amin mga students ng PSA? Okay. So, yun. Para sa inyong mga sudyante, You should know how to do some adjustments as well. Kasi lalo sa inyo na, um, syempre, iba-ibang bansa, iba-ibang tao yung makakaharap nyo. Kailangan, alam nyo yung, hindi lang yung kung sino yung kaharap nyo. I mean, kailangan, may, may idea kayo sa cultures nila kung ano yung mga dapat yung gawin at hindi dapat. Kasi once na may magawa kang hindi dapat or hindi, hindi pwede sa kultura nila, magkakaroon na yan ng ano, magkakaroon na yan ng, uh, magkakaroon na yan ng problema. So, for this to be avoided, you should, as, as I've said, you should listen to your teacher, you should lis- uh, listen to your professor, para alam nyo kung pag ganitong nationality ba, paano, yun, doon na papasok yung mga adjustments sa kailangan nyo. Ayun. Ayan. So, in here, makikita po natin yung mga pics and yung mga lugar na napuntahan nyo since you've started working. So, the question is, as a BSTM graduate and as you've already traveling from local places to international, may mga lugar po ba mm-hmm. na pinangarap nyo na or napuntahan nyo na since you've started working or what Where your favorite destinations uh, Yes, my favorite so far uh, are the most recent ones, which are London and Paris. Before, before kasi I thought I cannot go to th- those countries eh. As, uh, as we all know, uh, pricey yung fair. Tapos, basta sobrang hirap lahat kasi may visa, ganun. So, yun. Nung... Nung dumating na ako sa point na, ay, parang hindi ko akalain na madadat- mararating ko tong mga country na to. So, thanks to my company. Because my dream countries came true the, uh, without spending too much money. 
So, ano po yung pakiramdam na because of your job, you were able to travel and go to different places? Mm-hmm. Well, I feel so blessed because employees in our company experience or will experience traveling abroad without, uh, uh, without spending a single centavo. And because of my job, every year, na-stop lang ngayong taon, Every year talaga nagseset ako ng locally or international travel just for leisure. Hindi pa yung uh, papadala ako ng company ko. Kami, kami yung mag, uh, magkakaibigan sa trabaho. Talaga nagseset kami para lang makapag-unwind, makapag-relax. Ayun. Parang nang dahil sa trabaho namin ngayon, ang dami na naming nagagawa. Yung mga dating gusto lang namin gawin, marating. Ngayon, nangyayari na. And so sana Miss Marife sa susunod mm-hmm. na biyahe niyo ay eh, kami na rin po ang kasama niyo. Ay, why not? <laughs> so eto dagdagan naman po natin ang kanting pressure and enjoy mm-hmm. yung ating episode. So let's do some fast talk. Miss Marife, deal or no deal? Deal. Plane or cruise? Cruise. Singapore or Taiwan? Taiwan. Uh, work from home or office? Work from home. So let's take it more seriously. Para sa inyo, ano po ang pinakamalaking sugal niyo? O taya sa buhay para makamit ang inyong pangarap? Uh, I think that is when I stopped applying in airlines and stayed in gaming industry. Next, ano naman po ang pinakamalaking jackpot niyo sa buhay? Um, having a loving and ha- having a loving and supportive family and fiance. Oh, talking about fiance po, uh, <laughs> nakita ko po yung yung ano, yung infos on your social media account. So, you're mm-hmm. already engaged this year. Mm-mm. So congratulations po Miss Marite for that. Thank you. Congrats po. Congrats po. Salamat. And so Miss Marife, can we ask for some tips and message to inspire and motivate students like us especially in the hospitality and tourism field? Okay. So uh, what I can say is that Study hard while your parents are still uh, still supporting your needs and set priorities and goals. Don't take failures like it's the end of your career, but instead check what you need to do to make it right. Being in hospitality and tourism field, you have many options. Take me as an example. I dreamt of being a flight attendant or flight stewardess, but I grow in gaming industry and now I am a sur- surveillance supervisor. So just keep on a- aiming high, surround yourself with positive people, and last but not the least, always ask for God's guidance. Thank you, Ms. Marin, for that inspirational message. Mm-hmm. Now may I present you the Certificate of Appreciation, but before that, let me read the citation. St. Anne College Lisana mm-hmm. Incorporated plus Dion Kessen School of Management for International Hospitality and Tourism, HPC, HPC 212 Introduction to Meetings, Incentives, Conventions, and Exposition. Certificate of Appreciation is hereby given to Ms. Marife P. Dudas in grateful and sincere appreciation for giving her knowledge, time, and effort as guest speaker during the online Coffee Eat Up webinar series Smith Cafe Coffee Eat Up entitled Ready, Get Set, Game A Glimpse of the Gaming Industry Given this 11th day of May 2021 At St. Anne College Lisena Incorporated By a Zoom meeting app Signed by our advisor Jerry Maya Eloso And Truly yours The project head Raymond Alvarez mm-hmm.
So ayun po Miss Marife. Um before we end this before we end this meeting, we want to greet you a uh, belated happy birthday since you celebrated you last May 6th. Salamat. I'm right po. So thank you. Ayun po Miss Marife, thank you so much po sa inyong effort and time. So that would be all for no our Smith Cafe Coffee Eto episode entitled Flight of the Alumna. Thank you everyone, especially to Miss Mary Pedudas, our speaker. Thank you, God bless, and keep all safe. Thank you, folks. Thank you.